early 1980s, featured one of the fastest growing segments of aviation, that of ultralight aircraft. Over 40 years have passed, with many of the aircraft introduced during this time, still safely flying today, and being offered for sale on the used ultralight market. This series of short video clips, gives information on the ultralight flyer's recommendation for aircraft that we have flown, owned and or built. All of these aircraft still have manufacturers producing parts, for their repair and continued airworthiness. In this segment we will take a quick look at the Team Mini Max. In 1984 while attending the Sun and Fun convention, I watched as a little single-seat ultralight aircraft, took to the air in some very gusty, cross-wind conditions. Conditions that had grounded most of the other ultralight aircraft on the field. That aircraft was a Mini Max designed by Wayne Eisen of Eisen Aircraft. The Mini Max is available in a number of models, ultralight versions, experimental versions, and now a two-place version. All of them feature all-wood geodetic construction. Build time is between 250 and 350 hours. The Mini Max can be built in as little as a single car garage, with no special tools or equipment needed. Construction is very similar to that used in a model aircraft kit. The Mini Max line of aircraft have a very strong following on the net. Thousands of kits have been sold and are flying throughout the world. The Mini Max uses standard stick and rudder three axis controls, in a tractor, tail dragger configuration. It has a center mounted stick and a left hand throttle. The craft can be equipped with a windscreen or a complete canopy. The Mini Max Ultralight is generally powered by the Rotax 277, 377, or 447 engine. The Zenoa two stroke engine and half VW engines have also been used. The latest models have been using the Hearth line of two-stroke engines. When powered by a twin-cylinder Rotax engine climb rate comes in at over 800 feet per minute, cruise is an honest 55 to 60 miles per hour. Stall speed is roughly 25 miles per hour. If considering purchasing a used Team Mini Max it is the ultralight flyer's recommendation that the plane's fabric be removed from the airframe, and wings and that they be thoroughly inspected. Other areas of inspection include the landing gear, and control systems. If the history of the engine is unknown it is recommended that the exhaust be removed and the pistons inspected for wear and seizure. At the time of production of this video the ultralight flyer would estimate the value of a used Team Mini Max from the 1980s to be worth between $3,500 and $6,500. The ultralight flyer also recommends that the buyer contact Team Mini Max at www.teammini-max.com to inquire about any modifications or updates that the factory might recommend.